Hello everyone and welcome to Cuckles Plays. Today we are playing a game that I quite enjoy. The Wolf Among Us. It's a new game. It's uh well, I guess it technically it came out before Walking Dead season two. And it's new, well it's it's set in a new universe. New game universe there. It's Wolf Among Us, based on the comic book series Fables by if I can remember <laughs> the name Pull my comic off the shelf as I do this. By Bill Wellingham. No, Bill Well. Bill Wellingham. Wellingham. Okay, I can't bloody <laughs> pronounce it. But Bill Wellingham is the creator of Fable series, and this game has been pretty um, inspirational to me. Hopefully, not too much wind rushing as I walked back to my chair there. But uh, like. This isn't the first time I've played this game. I've played this game several times before. <clears throat> but today, the last episode came out, so I was like, okay, I'm going to record everything. And record it for you peoples going through all five episodes. Uh, don't want to go too far ahead. That could be spoilery. But uh, it's based on the Fable series, and a quick rundown of that is... Basically, all the fairy tale characters are real, but they used to live in a separate world, you know, in their own kind of fairy tale, whatever. But then something uh, kind of invaded and took over that world the advisory. Uh, and all the fables had to evacuate and escape, and they escaped to our world or the mundane world. And now it and they did that about 3,000 years ago and now we're going to be joining them uh, in where they currently live which is in Fabletown, New York uh, one cool thing about this game is that this game is actually a prequel to the comic book series so you don't necessarily have to have read the comics to actually get into it and when I first played this game I hadn't read a single comic, but because of this game, because of this game around episode 2, I just started picking up the comics because I enjoyed it that much. Um, so yeah, you can watch this, and then, hey, if you like this game, the comics pick up, I think, a little while after this game takes place. So all very interesting, and I've been talking long enough watching a menu, so let's get started with episode one, Faith. The story is tailored to, by how you play, like a lot of recent Telltale games. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of Fabletale characters known as Fabletown. These Fabletale fables lived Arrived bleh. <laughs> through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. You play as Bigby throughout this entire game series. And if you can't figure out who he's supposed to be, today again if you missed it, a record for the you'll day. find out. Ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Also, the look of this game is pretty great. It's got an excellent art style. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, unlike my Walking Dead series, I'm actually going to be talking while I play.
Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Well, stop looking like an animal. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B. I might stand it completely here. completely tears up so the place. Meh. Fuck off. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Hey, douchebag. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside! That's Mr. Toad, the joyriding toad, if you couldn't uh, figure out from his uh, <laughs> fable. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Also, I'm using this as a controller. Uh, probably would be easier with a mouse and keyboard, but I originally started playing this game with a controller, a so look. I'm like, eh. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Let's bust this door down. God damn you! you know who I whoa, am whoa, now? Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Oh, burn. I'll fucking kill you! Alright, everyone. <laughs> oh! Fight time. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. You gotta calm down. Oh shit, knife! No! Fuck! Ah! Can't do everything perfect, you know. Into the bookshelf with you! Back off, asshole. Good sire! Screw your lamp! And fuck your leg! And in the face of you! Have a rest, won't you? Had enough? Oh! Ow! At least make this a fucking challenge! I stab at thee in the throat. Okay, time to go to sleep, buddy. Punching time. Oh crap, the axe. Shouldn't have brought him over by the axe. Power struggle! Power struggle! And I win. Yeah. 
You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bug my jaw, you bastard. <laughs> and still you talk. Fuck you. Can't get him to shut up. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Eh, yeah, kind of wrong question. Uh, What's your name? Go. Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. That's... Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. I am a cop. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. So Why far, it's going pretty you? easily. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! Yep, just a moment. Ah, shit. <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> time to quit so, uh, and make a joke. How good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Uh-oh. Mash. Got a mash. Ow. I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. You fucking mongrel. You ignorant fuck. So much matching and axe to the head. Thanks. Don't mention it. Lost cat. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you <laughs> fucking bitch. So, fables are really tough. They're extremely, nice extremely hard to kill. Makes two of us. Just because he has an axe in his brain does not mean he's dead. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. And it's heavily implied that because of people believing in their fairy tales or whatever and like retelling their fa fairy tales it kind of leads more into their invincibility like nature of being able to take a load of punishment 
That's what a bunch of fables believe, anyway. It's because of the Mundies believing in their stories. And the Mundies is basically everyone who's not a fable, which means us. Regular people. Here. Stay classy. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Woodsman's gone. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. <laughs> you should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Awkward joke is awkward. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? I'm going to tell you in an overly dramatic fashion. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. So, if you haven't figured I'll see it out. You around, wolf. You're playing as Big B Wolf or the Big Bad Wolf. From any story that has the big bad wolf. Red Riding Hood, uh, the three little pigs, whatever. It's all the same wolf. And you're pl and he is the main character. Now, you saw earlier... I, I don't want to ruin this. Excellent transition. <laughs>